Okay. I will do as well in case something goes wrong. Mm -hmm. I can, I should be able to do it as well. Let's see. Okay, so I'm not sure. Um, welcome. Uh, Asha Kuri Shabai Bhalo Achen. Aapna, um, you know, our chapter session, I'm going to say that we have a duty session. So, I'm going to say fifth session, I'm going to say security. Nye. Security is going to say AWS security fundamentals. Bolte ki, je, uh, kichu -kichu services are going to say security is uh, related to security. So, I'm going to say that the service is so, আজকে আমাদের agenda type এবং format একটু different. আমরা আজকে অনেকগুলা service নিয়ে কথা বলবো। আর সাধারণত পরীক্ষায় এতগুলা service সব নিয়ে সরাসরি প্রশ্ন হয় না। তো এই service গুলোর মধ্যে cloud watch টা বেশ important. সবচেয়ে বেশি প্রশ্ন মনে হয় এখান থেকে আসে। আর আমরা cloud watch নিয়ে কয়েকটা slide cover করব। আর তারপর আমরা দুটো question দুটো poll করব cloud watch নিয়ে। Jerokum uh exam hato G Horner question asked the pare. Our um Tarpore Amra presentation Sheshe, Amother Unano service gular um overview Sheshe, Tarpor Amra practice questions will occur. Our basic work service gulas on porke upnother um basic dharana takli hobe could be details channel dorkan me. So, uh, so, uh, so, 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 uh, it could only have a canonic show my dacaja question gular mood the auto answer options or mood is like a um a option a service gulashi a bong talk on a key up nor do the service to shamburg and najan and at least high level najan and how they have to answer could take some shot of it to shake our name in the uh yeah service gula cover kora a bong uh as a good chip another uh you know my favorite timer again i'm gonna ask you she's pretty the problem so, so uh, let's start with uh, security primer um, and a security just overview. So, you know, what does security mean uh, on AWS? And so, uh, security a kind of main concept is um, there is a shared responsibility model. And um, what we mean by shared responsibility model is that, um, you know, we divide the security. Uh, of managing the implementations on AWS into two parts. So, we have two parts. 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 We part two parts. We have the cloud, We have part parts. We have the cloud. We have two parts. 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 We have Kunta ki kun kun action ta kun uh partner mode pore set are uh depend code kun service up me use codes in AWS. So you know it uh it a bish uh to Palomotun um Chinta Gothobe and it to Palomotun uh boost the so security of the cloud or kata jahon number bulchi. This this means AWS is responsible for protecting the infrastructure that runs all of the services provided in the AWS cloud. This infrastructure can be composed of hardware, software, networking, facilities that run these cloud services. So uh, security of the cloud um, at the bare minimum is everything that AWS is maintaining for you. So for example, it is a cloud offering, right? So they're, they're maintaining all the servers, all the physical locations and uh, keeping that secure. So that is the pure, that is AWS's responsibility. Now, for customer responsibility, which is security in the cloud. So customer responsibility is determined by the AWS cloud services that a customer selects. And so this determines the amount of configuration work the customer must perform as part of their responsibility. So for example, if you take um, EC2, right? EC2 is, um, you, know, a, a inf you know, you can call it an infrastructure as a service. Um, and, and so, you know, it requires the customers to perform uh, a lot of the security and management tasks. So if you deploy EC2 instances, then you're responsible for the management of the guest operating system, um, any update security patches, any application software uh, installed by the customer, the configuration of uh, firewall for each of these instances. So you are responsible for that. So it, it falls part of security in the cloud. Now for abstracted services like S3, 
or DynamoDB, where you can physically do infrastructure maintain your infrastructure, the model is different. So, AWS uh, will be responsible for the infrastructure layer, the operating systems, the platforms, customer access endpoints, um, and customers are responsible for managing their data, including encryption, classifying assets, um, you know, what roles to do. So S3 or database are kept at the underlying hardware operating system to maintain the data. But you have to protect the data. You data to protect the data. You data to protect the encryption. You have to protect the IAM roles. You protect the IAM certain roles for certain users. You have to access the data. You have to do that. So, uh, you have security in the cloud, security of the cloud. You have to do the exam directly. You have to do concept and you have to question the data. And um, here's a general overview of all the AWS services in security identity and compliance domain. And um, it's again, um, you know, we've, we've covered some of these topics already. Um, I'm on the first session, Amra, uh, I am single sign on organizations, directory service, the Gloshabi cover curriculum. So, we have a review of the organizations. We have organizations in IAM take a bit of questions. We have a lot of protected exam. So, we have a lot of practice questions. We have a lot of try to get the answer choice. We have a lot of answer choice. We have a lot of service names. The service name will ask like on after how to back at the key management service or cloud HSM or mode act a pick for the hobby. So I mean, the service is on work a basic down and I think it's a lot of the topic correct to put in hobby. So you don't have here another session time row. It will cover for what you do. The most common donor services. So let's let's start with CloudWatch first. So CloudWatch, what is CloudWatch? Uh, CloudWatch collects monitoring and operational data in the form of logs, metrics, events, and visualizes it using automated dashboards. And so you can get a unified view of your AWS resources, applications, and services. And, and these could run in AWS or on-premises. So um, you can correlate your met metrics um, and logs to understand the health performance, you can create alarms based on metric values and thresholds you specify, or you can watch for you know any anomalous behavior, right? If 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 something's going wrong, something's not um, you know something's happening out of the ordinary, you can you can look at that. To take uh, actions quickly, you can also set up automated actions to notify you if um, an alarm is triggered. So you know you can get notified directly, and and you can leverage some other services like SNS to to get that notification. You can also dive into the uh, analysis of your metrics, the logs, traces to understand how to improve your application performance. CloudWatch uh, can respond to changes in your environment with uh, what's called CloudWatch events. So uh, an example of a CloudWatch event is an alarm triggering a Lambda function to start an automated runbook in Systems Manager. Or um, alarm can trigger a notification to Amazon Chime or Slack, and um, that tells you, that alerts people that something's going on. So uh, events are uh, essentially triggers for you to take other actions, and you can tie this to other AWS services as well. Um, metrics. So metrics is important. That's that's what CloudWatch captures, and that's the basis for a lot of the monitoring and, and reporting that you get. So metrics are data about the performance of your systems. So by default, several services provide built-in metrics for Amazon um, services like EC2 instances, EBS volumes, RDS, um, etc. And um, in context of EC2. Uh, think of CloudWatch metrics uh, being associated only with the virtual machine layer, right? With the VM layer. So um, 
if you guys remember, we did in the first session, we talked about how the EC2 instances are set up, right? So you have uh, you have a physical hardware, you have the uh, host operating system on top of it, you have the virtualization uh, or the hypervisor, and then you have the um, of the EC2 instance, right? The VM instance. So CloudWatch only deals with whatever is available metrics at the VM layer, so not underneath it. And so this is this is actually an interesting uh, distinction because um, CloudWatch uh, cannot, by default, um, look at your memory settings. And so um, you know your your built-in metrics. So we'll we'll have a question coming up in a in a little bit. So um, for the exam, you'll have to know which built-in metrics are available for EC2 and which ones require custom metrics. So um, Amazon EC2 memory utilization, for example, um, by default, it doesn't capture memory utilization. It's not a built-in metric, but you can set it up as a, as a custom metric. With, uh, with dashboards, so you get an operational view with um, with dashboards, which shows you a variety of different things, and you can customize this. And it's it's a single view for uh, selected metrics and alarms to help you assess the health of your resources and applications across one or more regions. You can select color used for each metric, uh, each graph, so that can be easily tracked. And and the same metrics can go across multiple graphs as well. And so, um, you know, it's, it, it provides you guidance on, you know, operational events. And sometimes if you're, if you're monitoring these in real time, then it's a, it, this is a good way to kind of show a dashboard of what's going on. Um, and, and, you know, keep, keep looking at sort of trends and, and, and patterns and see if there's something that you need to act on. For, um, for alarms, you can create CloudWatch alarms that watches a single metric or a result or, or math expression based on um, multiple metrics. So for example, if you have you know, three metrics that are tied to the same uh, component or, or the same microservice, you can tie them together and create an alarm. And so uh, if uh, the alarm will perform one or more actions based on the value, so it's, it's going to check on the threshold that you configure. And the action can be um, an EC2 action, an EC2 auto scaling action, or um, a notification sent to a, an SNS topic. You can um, use a, an SNS notification trigger, which can um, either notify someone over email, or you can even do this like a SNS triggering a Lambda function, which does uh, remediation, for example. And you can add alarms to CloudWatch dashboards, monitor them visually. When uh, the alarm is on the dashboard, it turns red. So you can have another screenshot of the when you have alarm, in alarm. So visually, it's, it's good to know. Um, but you will also um, set up some sort of a, a alerting system, right? So you're you're not uh, it's not expected uh, that you'll be on the on this page all the time. So uh, the idea is set up uh, alerts. But if you go to CloudWatch, there will be an easy way for you to know which alarm has been triggered. And um, these alarms don't invoke actions simply because they're in a particular state. Um, so the state must have changed and been maintained for a specific number of periods. So again, you can configure how these alarms are set up, but they have to be in that state uh, for a little bit for you to for for it to trigger the alarms. And um, after an alarm invokes an action due to uh, a change, its uh, subsequent behavior depends on the type of action that you associated with the alarm. So um, for EC2 auto scaling actions, the alarm continues to invoke uh, actions for every period that the alarm remains in the new state. For SNS notifications, um, there's no additional actions. So it, it fires off a notification and then um, that's, that's it. Now um, for automating uh, responses to change, right? So um, an event indicates a change in your environment. And AWS resources can generate events when their state changes. So 
for example, EC2 generates an event when state of an EC2 instance changes from pending to running. You can generate custom application level events and uh, publish them to CloudWatch as well. And you can configure um, a lot of these services as targets for CloudWatch events. So, up the CloudWatch event trigger corner for a should you have any notification problem set on up the ATK a event that ever on no AWS service of other than so for example up the uh, EC2 instance Ottawa Lambda function Ottawa up the uh, auto log monitoring by log um, you know archiving it don't know system after they can have me part of the channel get up near the air um, air go up you can capture good thing the she kind of what other women uh, also, uh, code build, code pipeline, and so there's there's a lot of services that you can use um, and and send these events to. So um, with that, let's do a quick poll. All right. Which of the services below can help you find underutilized EC2 instances? Select two. All right, I think we're we're good. So let's see. Um, CloudWatch, correct. So uh, you had to choose two, right? Do the answer. Darmode, CloudWatch, obviously correct. Kintu, um, second answer to holo trusted advisor. And trusted advisor, apna ke a information to dibe underutilized EC2 instances. Trusted advisor use Korajaya. Trusted advisor will give you um, guidance um, on reducing costs, and so you know you can get these utilization numbers from uh, trusted advisor. And the idea there is it will um, you know help you understand which servers are underutilized, which ones may be you know right sized. Um, the other piece is it will also provide um, the the one thing to keep in mind about CloudWatch and Trusted Advisor is that CloudWatch is the monitoring tool, right? So you're getting uh, data in in near real time, but Trusted Advisor uh, is not expected to provide that real time uh, level of information. So I think we got Shabai um, Monoha first day first CloudWatch ninety three percent correct into um, Trusted Advisor Tamra Okay. So another one, poll two. So let's see. Which of the following requires a custom Amazon CloudWatch metric to monitor? I may expect Corbo Shabayeta Shabayeta right answer Dita Barbe.
All right. Um, five more seconds. Hmm. Somebody was not paying attention. <laughs> so, um, data arguable challenge. Memory utilization uh, on EC2 instance data by default metric, uh, CloudWatch metric now. So, data uh, custom metric is a power. Our a question to best common, a question to pray as a how directly question option is a very nice low. It a uh, answer choices by regular mode attack on it. So, um, act a homework tag with another cloud watcher custom metric, uh, at least EC2 don't know regular custom metric are built in metric. You like to review for current, um, one on a service agenda at the time important now. Hello, EC2 uh, metrics will have very important. The correct answer. Yeah, sorry. Um, the correct answer. Point of Correct answer B. Thank you, sir. Correct answer B. All right. Um, to get to tell them the next section, Ajay. So, I can I'm not going to KMS near so AWS uh, key management service. So, um Key management service is uh, a secure service to create con and control the encryption keys. And it's in integrated with other AWS services, such as EBS, S3, um, and it provides data at rest uh, security with encryption keys. It's a global service, but the keys are regional, which means you can't send keys outside of the region in which they are created. And it provides um, audit capabilities using CloudTrail. So, KMS er main function holo apna der um, kono kichhu jodi apni kono data apni encrypt korte chan. Ebang encrypt korar jonno uh, apni kita manage korte chan. So, for example, let's say you want to bring in your own keys, then you use KMS uh, to manage and store that key in AWS. And so um, you can use it with you know, a, a whole bunch of services. It is integrated with most services and um, you use it um, at a regional level. So after you the US East one region key import current, how do we keep that to the US East one region? It has been no to keep you the up generate current KMS take it with a G region generate what's in we region it has been. So KMS global service solo keys gula uh, region specific. And so um, there's there's two concepts here. So there's the uh, customer managed keys and there are data keys. So customer managed key is, um, it contains the metadata such as key ID, creation date, description, key state, key materials. And um, it can be symmetric keys or asymmetric keys. And uh, it can be generated either by KMS itself using the HSM, or you can import it. Um, you can import your own keys. So this becomes your unique key. Um, you know, think of it like a master key for your functions, right? And um, you also have what's called a data key. The data key is used to encrypt your data. And this data key is protected by this master key. So there's there's a there's two layers of encryption here, and um, this is generated or decrypted by uh, KMS itself. So I'll I'll get to, get to how these two work together. There's um, there's a concept called envelope encryption, and envelope encryption mane hote apni ekta key di aur ekta key ke encrypt korbe. Ebon shei key ta ke use korle apni apnar data encrypt korbe. So a double encryption er karone. Apnar jodi ekta key compromised hoye jay, tarporo apnar data ta protected thakbe. So the idea of um, envelope encryption is that you know you're you're encrypting the plain text data. So ekhane apne dakhen ekhane thora ekta image file. The image file ta apni encrypt korbe. So you upload that data into let's say S3 or or whatever service you're using for for um, storing it. So then uh, envelope encryption will use this plain text data 
প্লেন টেক্সট ডেটাটাকে আপনার ডেটা কি দিয়ে এনক্রিপ্ট করবে আবার এই প্লেন টেক্সট ডেটা কিটাকে সিএমকে সো মাস্টার মাস্টার কিটা দিয়ে এনক্রিপ্ট করবে সো সিএমকে কে আরো বলা যায় কি এনক্রিপশন কি বিকজ ইটস ইউজ টু এনক্রিপ্ট দা ডেটা কি এন্ড সো ইওর এনক্রিপটেড ডেটা ইজ স্টোরড উইথ দা প্লেন টেক্সট ডেটা কি এন্ড দেন দা encrypted data key so the this key is encrypted by your cmk and that's stored as your encrypted data key and that forms part of the encrypted message so apni jokhon ei file ta store korchen encrypted obosthay tokhon dui ta component thakbe tokhon ekta encrypted data thakbe jeta ei ei plain text data file ta ki encrypt kora ei data key diye ar next portion ta hocche encrypted data key so ei plain text data key ta ke tar pore माल्टिपल मास्टर की दिए एनक्रिप्ट करते हैं चाहले আপনি মাল্টিপল অ্যালগোরিদমস ইউজ করতে পারেন সো ফর एग्जांपल এটা হয়তো সিমেট্রিক অ্যালগোরিদম দিয়ে তৈরি করা একটা কি আর কি এনক্রিপশন কিটা হয়তো এসিমেট্রিক অ্যালগোরিদমে তৈরি করা সো আপনি যদি কেউ একটা কি কম্প্রোমাইজ করতে পারে তাহলে দুটো কি একসাথে কম্প্রোমাইজ করার চান্স কম সো যার ফলে এই এনক্রিপটেড ডেটাটা হয়তো তখন বের করতে পারবে না যদি একটা কি কম্প্রোমাইজড হয় তাহলে এটা প্লেন টেক্সটে বের করে নিয়ে আসা সম্ভব না um with kms um you will also see a section uh, called encryption context and encryption context provides additional plain text information and this can be reviewed within cloud trail so typically this includes information like the document type um security classification customer id date stamp order id etc um so you can put whatever information you want into the encryption context um but keep in mind if you so you can like a trade off ache apni jodi encryption context e onek beshi information den tahole hoyto apnar you know decrypt korar age apni jante parben je file ta ki so um you know you can like to balance kore dite hoy like you put in enough information that you know what this is um but don't put in too much information that um you know it becomes obvious what the content of this uh, encrypted file is um so apni jokhon cloud trail e dekhben tokhon ei rokom encryption context under e apnar ei ye gula thakbe tokhon ei ei value gula apni dekhte paben um there is another um concept around key policies so you set up key policies to grant access to um the principal who can decrypt and and view encrypted data so for example you can set up a policy for certain users certain iam roles who can view the cloud log trail and the cloud log trail is encrypted so if a user comes in who's authorized then they will be able to decrypt the data and and view it but if you have a, a key policy which prevent access for a particular user then they will not be able to view the the trails and so you use key policies to um set up those restrictions all right so um we referred cloud hsm once in kms so i'm going to quickly cloud hsm ta somporke jani so cloud hsm is a single tenant dedicated hardware security module so kms amra jokhon kotha bolchilam kms service tar back end e cloud hsm run kore kintu apni jodi kms service ta use koren tahole apnar cloud hsm somporke khub ekta handle korar dorkar nei karon kms service ta cloud hsm ta ke manage korte কিন্তু অনেক সময় দেখা যায় যে দেয়ার ইজ রেগুলেটরি কমপ্লায়েন্স এন্ড দ্য কি ইনফরমেশন হিয়ার ইজ ইফ ইউ লুক এট ফিপস 140-2 লেভেল 3 সো দিস ইজ আ ইউএস गवर्नमेंट ডেরাইভড রেগুলেশন 
on cryptography. So um, if the requirement is to have FIPS 140-2 validation, um, KMS can only do it at a level two. So after the level two Chebeshi security lager, which is level three, then you need to have your own dedicated security module. And this is where CloudWatch HSM comes in. So CloudWatch HSM um, will let you manage your own keys. And unlike the AWS uh, KMS manage, right? So in KMS, AWS manages your key. In Cloud HSM, you manage your own key. And the Cloud HSM runs within a VPC in your account. So it keeps your keys um, safe, but then keep in mind that if you lose the key, there's no way for retrieving that key because this is, again, it, it's meant to be secure. So, um, you know, there, there, there's no way uh, that you can actually go back and, and try to retrieve uh, if something is destroyed or lost. So from an exam perspective, um, like generally, after uh, question asked about a cloud, cloud HSM, uh, use for by the answer choices asked about it. So keep in mind about the FIPS requirement. So, um, regulatory compliance requirement, Ottawa FIPS 140 2 level 3, uh, Tokun Bujwin data KMS, na, it a cloud HSM use code. And then, um, let's move on to web application firewall. So, um, WAF or web application firewall. Uh, it covers the application layer or uh, layer seven in the OSI model. So after um, the OSI model, familiar there's uh, seven layers and application is the topmost layer. And so um, this is uh, web application firewall deals with that um, application layer, the, the top layer. It's meant to protect the business logic and you can use WAF for uh, temporary patch vulnerabilities without having to make major code changes, uh, block malicious actors for coming in or filter out incoming requests. And this reduces the, the threat vectors overall. So um, one thing to stress is AWS WAF is a tool that you can supplement to your existing security posture, but it's not meant to replace it. So you know, you, you, this doesn't mean that you, know, you don't put in other security measures in place. This is just think of it as an additional tool that's available to you. So it, it's configurable, it's scalable, uh, meant to be cloud native, um, but uh, it gives you the first line of defense for incoming threats. And so, um, Let's talk about some key terminology. Um, so like in order to deploy um, WAF, there's no need for um, reverse proxies or TLS certifications. You can enable at the edge through um, CloudFront, uh, which is the content distribution. So um, I'm our first session at CloudFront, which is um, you know, the points of presence across the globe. And, and so you can deploy your uh, web application firewall at that point, um, or you can put it directly on top of a application load balancer uh, at the regional level as well. So if, if your architecture has load balancers, application load balancers, then you can use WAF uh, on top of it. Um, or you can uh, have um, you know, API gateway which is if you're using microservices or if you're using serverless architecture, then API gateway would, would be the more likely option. And then you can use uh, WAF on top of uh, the API gateway. So in terms of some key terminologies, so you have, um, you see here, it's called web ACL or web access control list. So um, this, think of this as a container that holds all your firewall rules. So all, all the different rules that you're setting up is held in a web access control list. And then, um, then you have rule statements. So rule statements are, uh, rule statements define how incoming rules or incoming requests should be processed. And um, then you have the sampled request, um, which provide you quick high level information about incoming request and how it was processed with WAS. And, um, the logging is done through uh, Kinesis Firehose, which provides full details into the um, request itself. And all the metrics that you get from WAF 
are sent to CloudWatch. So CloudWatch then can provide graphs and dashboards for your traffic flow. So that's, that's um, how WAF works. And um, you know, you, you'll see you know, when you're setting it up, you will have, uh, it's, it's pretty easy to set up. There are rules that, that can be pre-configured as well. Um, and at the same time, uh, you, know, you can uh, get all your metrics and, and monitoring through CloudWatch. So um, as I was mentioning, there's built-in rules. So things like you know, SQL injection um, detection and, and prevention um, or cross-site scripting. And um, you, know, you get AWS managed rules uh, that you can put in. Um, you also have cloud formation templates that you can put in and um, managed AWS rules as well. And, and so um, you, know, you, can, you can build your own rules. You can use one of the templates. You can use one of the managed rules provided by AWS, but you can also get rules from Marketplace. And so this is um, where you know, a lot of our AWS partners have built rules uh, in the WAF and they're essentially selling it at the marketplace. And so you know, they can cover um, a lot more use cases than what's provided by default. So um, for, the, um, for, the, for the managed rules, um, we offered a, a solution or, or we offered um, AWS managed rules in 2019. And this was um, an easy way to get you started um, with WAF. And the idea behind managed rules was that we covered the common attack vectors so that you don't spend a lot of time managing basic set of rules. And so this, this gives you a stable baseline. And these rules are managed by our threat research team, which is um, you know, our own DDoS response team. And uh, these rules influence uh, by the top 10 security risks identified by the um, OWASP community. And it's important to stress that WAFs in general cannot offer you full protection, um, but this helps. So for example, like this is not your only um, point of defense, but this would help you um, with an additional layer. And these managed rules are available to you at no extra charge. So it doesn't cost you anything to, to put in these managed rules. And if you go on the console, so lab try console WAF service tech select AWS managed rule group list rules available, rule web um after action count kind of um, at credit department so it'll it'll track how many times uh, this rule was breached right so that was all for um firewall web application firewall and so now we talk about aws shield and aws shield is a managed uh, distributed denial of service protection service that safeguards applications running on AWS. Shield provides always on detection and automatic inline mitigations that minimize application downtime and latency. So there's no need to engage AWS support to benefit from DDoS protection. So DDoS is very uh, common threat for if you're running any sort of web application, right? Um, and so Shield is the default solution that you can get for uh, DDoS protection from AWS. And uh, there's two tiers of Shield. So you get Shield, AWS Shield Standard, and there's AWS Shield Advanced. And Shield Standard is um, default provided to you at no additional charge. So you have AWS customer, you have AWS Shield Standard to use with the burn. Shield Standard will defend you against the most common frequently occurring um, network and transport layer DDoS attacks. And um, this is specifically for um, your websites or, or applications. And when you use uh, Shield standard, um, you receive a comprehensive availability protection um, against all known infrastructure layer three, layer four attacks. So Shield standard along with CloudFront and um, Amazon Route 53 will give you that protection 
uh, at the layer three, layer four um, level for, for your infrastructure. Um, but if you want to go uh, for a higher protection, you can go with Shield Advanced. And Shield Advanced brings you um, more added features. And so this um, you know, gives you protection against attacks targeting applications that are uh, running on EC2, load balance, ELB, um, CloudFront, Route 53 resources. You can subscribe um, to Shield Advanced, which will give you that uh, additional level of protection. And um, with um, the Shield Advanced, you also get access to the web application firewall. So um, this gives you more protection. This includes the uh, WAF with you. And with the Shield Advanced, you also get 24-7 access to the DDoS response team as well. So if you're, um, you know, if you have... Uh, if you have the requirement for higher level of security and you need to get additional uh, support teams on call for this, then Shield Advance is, is the better option. Systems Manager Parameter Store. So we'll just cover this very quickly. So Systems Manager, um, at a high level, Systems Manager is the AWS service that you can use to view and control your infrastructure on AWS. So using the systems manager, you can view operational data from multiple AWS services, automate operational tasks across AWS services, and um, systems manager will also help you with maintaining the security and compliance um, by scanning your managed access instances and reporting on um, taking corrective action and any policy violations. So systems manager on a different components of it. Systems manager um, is, is the umbrella level service, and then you have multiple components for it. So uh, parameter store systems manager act a component. So I'm not very focus core book. Systems manager baki component gula amra ekhane cover kuchina. Shadanto question or kum thakena into apner systems manager from work janali apni dharna kutta verbena key question and answer gula. So parameter store ta security specific. Uh, parameter store er kaj holo apnar um, je kono parameter store kora. And um, you know it it can be you can store passwords, you can store database strings, you can store um, Amazon machine image IDs, you can store license code. Um, so you can store values either in plain text or encrypted which means you know, you, you, whatever sensitive data, you are able to put sensitive data in there uh, as well in uh, parameter store. So I'm right to put a secret manager will like a service at Twitter, they go. Our secret manager feature set are basic. Jamon up new one, key rotation, key management retrieval, equal to the government. So um, secrets manager is a more um, superior offering for protecting your secrets, so sensitive uh, information. Um, into parameter store, should you have no sensitive information, a parameter store, you have no parameters. So um, what is a parameter? A parameter can be any piece of data that is saved, saved in the parameter store. Um, so it can be a block of text, it can be a list of names, a password, Etc. And uh, when you reference a parameter, you specify the parameter name by using this convention, the uh, SSM colon parameter name. So that's that's how you refer to the parameters that are stored um, in in this uh, parameter manager. And um, parameter store provides three types of support, like support for three types of parameters. So string. So for example, ABC one to three, or example corp. Um, String list, string list to the upner quite the string exater raka demon Monday, comma Wednesday, comma Friday, um, or secure string. Secure string is uh, used for sensitive data. So um, in this case, you know any sensitive data that's stored um, and referenced in a secure manner. So this this is where you can put your passwords or license keys. Our secure string ta um apni plain text the dicta babanna. So that's that's the idea. If you put it something as a secure uh, string, then uh, you won't be able to see what uh, see the data um, in in parameter store. So then that takes us to secrets manager and in secrets manager um, this is 
you know, again, like the idea with Secrets Manager is you don't have to hard code your credentials into the code. Um, so this means, you know, passwords or, you know, API calls, um, that API keys that you would need. So um, Secrets Manager helps with that uh, by storing these passwords and, and keys in, in, a, in, in a secure uh, manner. And so, you know, the secret can be comp compromised by someone uh, examining your code. So if you're having a code review, all the reviewer sees is that, yes, there's an API call to a service called Secrets Manager, which will fit the right credentials. So they, they don't get to see the credentials themselves. And um, you can configure the Secrets Manager to automatically rotate these secrets for you um, according to a specified schedule. So this enables you to replace long-term secrets with short-term ones. And that reduces your uh, risk of compromising them. So how do people use it? People um, use it in different ways. So if you're an IT admin, you would store and manage access to secrets securely and at scale. Um, if you are a security admin, you can audit and monitor the use of these secrets and then rotate secret keys without um, breaking the application. So the advantage here is around decoupling, right? Apna microservices shop or kijer kumshumesin. The service microservice use kore apna decouple kore dawa jay service ekta service the character service. So ekhane secrets manager purpose to share kome. Secrets manager ta apni jokhon use korte chen, tokhon apni secrets gula ke code theke decouple kore fellen. So apni jodi secrets gula ke change koren, ta hole apna code ekono change hote chena, code ekono impact hote chena. So that's that's the big advantage. And um, for developers you don't have to deal with the secrets in your application. You just make a call to the secrets manager service and uh, that's where it's taken care of. So I'm um, like a example, Kuri. Uh, so up our application database or an application database one option. She can up the credential to J credential to the apni a database to access Corbin set up the secrets manager store Corbin. So um, you use um, the credentials, and um, you know you, once you have um, have it there, you load the credentials into Secrets Manager. So after Secrets Manager credential to thagbe, akhon our application ta jokhon Secrets Manager ta ke jokhon our database ta access korbe, jokhon ami ekta call korbo to Secrets Manager. So this is an API call, and then from there. Secrets Manager up like a credential to return code. So now your code has what it needs to reach out to the database. Um, and then uh, that token is used to uh, establish the connection to uh, the database. So that's, that's the very simple way of um, explaining what the Secret Manager does and, and how it works. And at any point of time, let's say I'm a Choi Mashpore Bulam Yamiokuni Kita change code. So all I need to do is I need to go into Secrets Manager and, and rotate the keys. I don't need to um, make any changes to the code here. I don't need to make any changes here. I just go in and, and, and manage it uh, from Secrets Manager. So it makes it easy. Um, it makes it more scalable. After um, the dedicated security team, then they don't have to coordinate with um, your developers or they don't need to break the developer cycles uh, in order to manage this. So, uh, parameter store our secrets manager. Katakachi um, service. কিন্তু এক্সাম এর জন্য এটা মনে রাখতে পারেন যে প্যারামিটার স্টোরস যেটা অফার করে তার চেয়ে সিক্রেট ম্যানেজার অফারিং টা একটু পাওয়ারফুল সো প্যারামিটার স্টোরে আপনি অনেক কনফিগারেশন ডেটা রাখতে পারেন সিক্রেটস ইজ ওয়ান অফ দেম সো কনফিগার প্যারামিটার স্টোরের কনসেপ্ট হলো যে আপনি যে কোনো কনফিগারেশন ডেটা রাখবেন আর সিক্রেটস ম্যানেজার হচ্ছে স্পেসিফিক্যালি সিক্রেটস এর জন্য সো আপনার Secrets Manager is an advanced feature that you can manage the life cycle, you can use your key retrieval, you can use your encryption key, you can use your secrets manager. And you can use your key services to the key rotation of the secrets manager. So you can use your Lambda function, you can use your 
কি রোটেশন করতে পারেন সো এটা সিক্রেটস ম্যানেজার স্পেসিফিক একটা ফিচার and so for example it's extensible via lambda so you can rotate um for rds and some of the database you can rotate the database credentials um through built in integrations but then for other services you do it um by writing a lambda code let's talk about uh, cloud trail for a second so cloud trail uh, is a service that enables governance compliance operational auditing and um, risk auditing for your AWS account. So CloudTrail gives you the ability to log uh, continuously, uh, monitor and retain um, account activity related to actions in your AWS infrastructure. So with CloudTrail, you can get event history of your account activities, including actions taken through management console, AWS SDKs, command line tools, and other AWS services. Once enabled, you get a cloud trail with all management events automatically and at no charge. And then you have several different data event sources that you can opt in to depending on particular application and compliance needs. So the event history is um, yet another source of observability um, that we provide, which simplifies your security analysis, resource and um, change tracking and troubleshooting. So CloudFormation will tell you um, what user logged in and made which API calls. And so this gives you the visibility uh, into you know, who made the changes. If, if there was a change that broke your system, then you can go back to CloudTrail and figure out who was the one that, that made it. Um, these are the major components of CloudTrail. So you have um, you know, what's called audit trails, event delivery, search and analytics, um, CloudTrail insights. You won't be asked detailed questions about them in the exam, but it's good to know the capabilities as um, you know, questions often want you to choose between CloudWatch and CloudTrail. So if you're comparing between CloudWatch and CloudTrail, um, keep in mind that data in CloudWatch is used for monitoring. Data in CloudTrail is not always real time. So cloud trailer data apni immediately now pet apparent. Our cloud trailer main purpose is auditing, not monitoring. Auditing mane apni uh jamte chanju the k call gula kurate, kokon kurate, ki have a kurate, kon service a gechilo. A information gula juno cloud trail um better suited. Our um cloud watcher purpose holo monitoring. So if you want to set up alerts, if you want to set up your um alarms and, and triggers based on how the application is behaving, then use CloudWatch. Our um, I mean, additional material, like at the link the DHC, they kind of CloudWatch or cloud trailer difference gula bola. So we, we linked up Nara, please um, like where to put it again. So let's talk about config. So what is AWS config? Um, config offers a native agent-less capability to automatically discover resources in your account. So it, it tracks changes to configuration of your resources and maintains that history for um, up to seven years by default. And it evaluates every configuration change against policies or best practices that are reconfigured using config rules. It is integrated with AWS organizations, so you can view your resources inventory and uh, compliance status of your resources across the entire organization. And lastly, you can easily integrate it with your own um, ITSM tools or CMDB tools like uh, ServiceNow. So any resource changes that you make, any configuration changes that you make can, will be picked up by uh, config. And then, um, you know, you can set up config rules, which then, you know, allows uh, for the management of notifications, APIs, history, and snapshot. And so um, what is a rule? Um, a config rule represents uh, configuration items and attributes that um, attribute values that you can um, evaluate. And, and it compares, and, and by comparing the attribute values, uh, recorded by AWS config, you know when a change is made. So again, there's two types of rules. There's the AWS managed rules and AWS managed rules are pre-built and managed by AWS. So you don't have to um, you know, make, it, make any changes. You just choose the rule you want and enable it. Um, 
and then you have the customer managed rules and the customer managed rules are custom and they're defined by you. So this, again, you can create your own rules. You can create a function in Lambda that can be invoked as part of the custom rules and um, you know, use that for remediation as well. So there's, there's different ways to use it, um, but it's for, um, you know, for the purposes of the exam, think of this as you know, the ability to understand configuration changes and, and the ability to see changes in your, um, in your account. Um, so we'll go through the last service for today, which is uh, Cognito. And um, the first session, I'm going to identity provider um, Active Directory service. So Cognito is, is, think of Cognito as an extension to that. Um, Cognito helps with ID uh, federation, and so federated identity. And um, it enables customers to add uh, user sign-in, sign-up, or um, access control to web and uh, mobile applications. So it are, it are main differentiating factors of the uh, extensibility. So after end user, um, you know, if, if uh, the end users can authenticate and authorize workflows and can be customized um, with direct integrations to Lambda APIs and SDKs. Um, it is a fully managed service. So it's, it's a built-in hosted UI and you get um, out of the box support for open standards. So, um, you know, if you have, um, you know, SAML uh, based authentication, then, um, you know, it, it, it provides support for, for that as well. Um, SAML, OAuth to OIDC. Um, it also supports um, the social federation as well. So, you know, you, this is your one uh, easy way to use, um, you know, all these federation services. So if you want to build an application and you don't want users to create their own username, password accounts um, in for your application, you want them to log in with their Facebook or, or Google account, then Cognito is the, be is the best solution for that. And so, um, you know, think, think of it as sort of the, um, application identity Swiss Army knife. Like it's, it's, it basically combines the functionality from, from different um, identity providers and um, offloads that identity related heavy lifting from your development. And um, you know, it, it can support a wide variety of um, options in terms of you know, web tokens, APIs, um, AWS security tokens um, for accessing uh, AWS services. So how does it work? So, you know, if, if I have an application, so this is typically what you would see, right? Uh, if you're trying to log in, it says continue with um, Google or Facebook, or you can create your own um, email uh, login. So then the next step is, you know, it, it reaches out. So once you've connected with one of these, then um, it reaches out to Cognito. And what happens is there's a what's called a user pool, and that's where it authenticates um, users and returns the standard token. So it goes to the federating uh, service. It figures out, uh, it gets the um, validation that this is a general genuine user and they've provided their credentials. And in return, that key comes in and um, that key is sent to the device. So now you're logged in. Right. So now next step is, you know, I need to um, access the application itself. So the application um, has API gateway or Lambda, whatever is the gateway for this app. So now let's say I need to access um, AWS S3 uh, or, or one of the AWS services. So now what happens is you get what's called an identity pool and the identity pools provide AWS credentials for uh, these services. So the application makes another call to Cognito and through Cognito, it gets another token. And this token is used then to access what's called the AWS uh, services. So it, there's, there's two functions here. You, you have the um, authentication part and then the second component is authorization for specific services. And Cognito helps with both of them. Uh, 
Um, here, so we're, we're kind of coming uh, near the end of um, the content. So some of the other security services uh, you, can, you can see in, in the exam uh, are Guard Duty, uh, Amazon Inspector, Security Hub, um, AWS Firewall Managers. Um, a lot of these services are, uh, you know, fairly new in, in existence. And so, you know, they on a basic question, how they will take up their power now, it is service will generate at least at a high level, the service will keep on it. So, you know, service will make a list out for them, but more or less, that's the content that we have today. I'm a connector survey for it, our program, a poll question. So, I can, you know, I, we really appreciate that you guys are here. Um, but we also need something from you. Uh, so we need you guys to, um, you know, provide us some feedback about uh, today's session. So I mean, uh, a survey link tag to uh, on post code chit chat. Please survey to complete current. I'm happy to survey link to Amar Tanitsen, a key up the course selector. Oh, I'm uh, yet a course alum. It is post for the very okay, sure. All right, I'll, I'll just post it here. So let's let's take um, maybe two minutes and then uh, we'll go, go into the questions. All right. Um, so, if you have a survey, please show me how to correct the survey. I'm going to give you a Slack channel. So, if you have a question, you can at least give me a survey. If you have a question, you can improve it. If you have a question, you can see the session. I'm going to try to do it in the future. All right. So, um, let's get to the fun part. Practice questions. All right, let's see. So let me start polls. All right, uh, company security team requires all data to be stored in the cloud um, to be encrypted at rest at all times using encryption keys stored on premises. Which encryption options meet these requirements? So you can select two options here. 
for the company's uh, requirement of data stored and encrypted and the encryption keys are on premises. Right, um, 10 more seconds. All right, so we see a real mix here. And um, so, yeah, so there, there was a mix of uh, all these things. So let's, let's look at the question a little more. So, এখানে আপনার কি বলছে এখানে বলছে যে ডেটা গুলো সব এনক্রিপ্টেড এট রেস্ট ওকে সো দ্যাটস দ্যাটস গিভেন আপনি এনক্রিপ্ট করছেন এখন তারপরে মেইন আরেকটা কি ইনফরমেশন হচ্ছে এনক্রিপশন কি স্টোরড অন প্রেমিসেস তো এনক্রিপশন যেটা দিয়ে করবেন যে কিটা দিয়ে ওই কিটা এডব্লিউএস এ নাই এডব্লিউএস এ থাকবে না তো এখন আমরা যদি এটা দেখি তাহলে আমাদের অপশন গুলো ওয়ান বাই ওয়ান চেক করি সো A is use server side encryption with S3 managed keys. So S3 managed keys means that key is on AWS, right? Um, server side encryption with KMS. So KMS, it's true. You can KMS to import your own key. But you can use KMS to use KMS to import your own key. You can use KMS to use KMS to AWS. So you can use a valid answer now. And then uh, you have C, which is server side encryption with customer provided keys so in this case um, customer is providing the keys but it's not on aws right so that c is one of the correct answers um, and then you can have client side encryption client side encryption client device encrypt so um server side server encrypted server so uh, again client side encryption Uh, encryption key to AWS record or can So D is also correct. Um, e is not correct. Um, you use an AWS uh, Lambda function triggered by S3 events to encrypt the data. So again, like at the customer key the data to encrypt quotes in into the Lambda use quote the chan tau le key ta ke apnar AWS import quote tau first. So then um, that kind of defeats the purpose. And after the question is key element that she loge encryption key gula AWS and encryption key ta on premises the time. So C and D correct answers. All right. So um, from an answers perspective, uh, yeah, 11%, so 50, around 50% um, chose C, but uh, most of you did not pick D. So just keep that in mind. Um, again, uh, question gula on extra questioner wording gula could be carefully dekta hai. So, um, you know, make sure you're, you're reading the question, uh, identifying the keywords and um, eliminating some of these options before you pick the right, right one. All right, um, let's go to the next one. So poll four. All right, um, you're responsible for deploying a PCI compliant critical application on AWS. 
there is a need to monitor web application logs to identify any malicious activity. Which services meet these requirements? Select three. The kind of chapter option or chapter would help not think option of the select put the environment. Ten more seconds. All right. So um closing the poll. Let's see here. Um CloudWatch logs, yes, all of you got correct. Perfect. Um VPC flow logs, half of you answered. Um, trusted advisors, another half of you said trusted advisor, and uh, cloud trail. So the answer, correct answer is A, B, and D. So the only one that's not uh, true is, uh, or, or that's not correct, is trusted advisor. Our trusted advisor, the trusted advisor is not a monitoring tool. So it can give you guidance on um, provisioning resources and uh, you know best practices um, according to best practices, but it is not a monitoring related service. So CloudWatch logs, yes, you can use that. Obviously, it's it's the primary one for monitoring. VPC flow logs, our VPC traffic to the apni dekhte chan, the VPC flow log could be useful. Network level uh, monitoring in general. Our uh, cloud trail, I'm audit logs. So, if you um, identify malicious activity, you can apni jante chan je k particular um, service to access kore chilo, or k particular API call ta kore chilo. So, you can use cloud trail use So, um, A, B, and D correct answers. All right, and then. We have so you plan to manage your API keys in AWS Secrets Manager. The API keys need to be automatically rotated per company policy. Applications get the latest version of the API uh, credentials. How would you implement rotation of API keys? So how would you rotate? So we, we talked a little bit about this. Um, I'm going to manager near Kotha Bolchen, but I'm a particular scenario to near Kotha Bolchi. Ah, I'm going to take the chair. I'm going to take the chair.
All right, uh, 10 more seconds. Okay, let's see how we did. All right, so there's a, <laughs> a good mix again of uh, answers. So let's, let's look at the question. So you're, you're using, um, you're managing API keys in AWS Secrets Manager, and the keys need to be rotated uh, automatically. And you need to get, um, you know, your applications would always need to get the latest version of um, API credentials. So how would you implement rotation of the keys? So the key, um, key information uh, here is automatically rotated, right? So for option A, after the option A select for a second, that incorrect. Um, option to keep was option double says they use parameter store instead. Instead, so I'm not talking yet. I'm not talking about the parameter store. It is secrets manager are very powerful. Um, at least secret store corridor and key rotation, particularly uh, parameter store. So I'm not secrets manager is the is the option. So A is incorrect. Now, um, B, after the multiple keys secrets manager store current. It's, it's not a good security practice, right? Apni store courage, the can secrets manager use color um at a borrow uh would the show the apni uh key gula short leave tabe, a bon key gula capni continuously change cut the barbin, regularly change cut the barbin. So apni the um multiple keys or agi uh key secrets manager recadin, that's that's not uh, following the best practices. So it, it kind of defeats the purpose of rotating the keys. So B is not correct. C, uh, define and implement key rotation with AWS Lambda function. So um, some of you got it right. Uh, that is the correct answer. So I'm going to talk about the secrets manager um, section. The key services are the secrets manager um, built-in functionality. The key service is the key rotation to secrets manager. But the key services are the Lambda function use the key rotation automatically. So in this case, uh, for API keys, you have to use a Lambda function to rotate those keys uh, automatically. Now, um, the last option, modify application to select a different key stored in Secrets Manager every six months. Secrets Manager use scorer, um, again, Secrets Manager apni use scores and jate apna application code ta change na code ta hai. So taal apni jodi chhoymash proper application code change kore, abar ekta no key refer code ta hai. Taal Secrets Manager use scorer kono <laughs> kono door kari chilo na. So uh, again, incorrect answer D. Uh, so correct answer here is C. Um, just uh, keep in mind the um, the keywords, right? And and the answer choices. So for example, um, you know, adding multiple uh, keys in Secrets Manager, answer B. Answer B is not wrong, right? Um, answer D is also not wrong. Um, it's just not the best practice. So a kind of a question that the B, C, or D, think they correct answer. Kintu C is accurate. So, if you choose the answer, you choose the answer. So, 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 then you pick which one is uh, more aligned with best practices. And so, in this case, C is, is the proposed uh, way of uh, going forward. So, with that, we are done with our polls for today. So, I am going to give you additional references. I am going to give you Cloudwatch FAQ page. This information is going to be available in the next few years. There are many information information around the metrics, around how it's used, um, service integrations. So, uh, please Cloudwatch FAQ. Uh, KMS FAQ page. Tao. Um, review code like bhalo hobe karon okhane uh, hsm kms er uh, kichu feature differences egulo somporke bola ache ar uh, secrets manager versus parameter store 
সো এখানে আমরা একটা লিংক দিয়ে দিয়েছি যে কোনটা কখন ইউজ করবেন কোনটার ফিচার কি কোনটার কি সিচুয়েশনে কোনটা ইউজ করলে ভালো আর কেএমএস কিভাবে ইউজ করে সার্ভিসগুলো অন্য সার্ভিসগুলো সেটাও ইউ নো এখানে এই ডকুমেন্টটাতে আছে আর ক্লাউড ট্রেল ভার্সেস ক্লাউড ওয়াচ সো আজকে প্রেজেন্টেশনের পরে যদি কারো কনফিউশন থাকে যে ক্লাউড ওয়াচটা কি কি ক্ষেত্রে ইউজ করব আর ক্লাউড ট্রেলটা কখন ইউজ করব এই লিংকটাতে বেশ ভালোভাবে এটা এক্সপ্লেইন করা আছে এবং আপনি যদি গুগল করেন ক্লাউড ওয়াচ ভার্সেস ক্লাউড ট্রেল তাহলে প্রথমে এই লিংকটা আসে সো ইটস ইউ নো ইটস ইটস ওয়াইডলি রেড and um, you know to to my knowledge it's it's fairly up to date on on the latest information our uh, shield somporke ekta faq page ache but in general i would say you know all the faq pages are um, good reads so if you have if you don't have time for anything else at least read the faq pages uh, for the different aws services sir uh, powerpoint ta kokhon pabo powerpoint ta a r কিছুক্ষণের মধ্যে আমি পোস্ট করে দিচ্ছি স্ল্যাকে এখনই পোস্ট করে দিচ্ছি আর এটার সাথে আমি ওই ইভেন্ট ইঞ্জিনের কোডটাও দিচ্ছি স্ল্যাকে পোস্ট করছি আর দুইটা ওয়ার্কশপ আছে যেটা আমি পিক করছিলাম আপনার একটা হচ্ছে ম্যানেজমেন্ট সো মনিটরিং ওয়ার্কশপ অ্যান্ড আরেকটা আছে ক্লাউড ওয়াচ ওয়ার্কশপ সো এই লিঙ্কগুলো আমি পোস্ট করে দিচ্ছি যাতে আপনারা ট্রাই করতে পারেন ইভেন্ট ইঞ্জিনের কোডটা নিয়ে সো লেট মি স্টার্ট উইথ ইভেন্ট ইঞ্জিন আর আমি স্ল্যাকে ওইগুলো পোস্ট করে দিচ্ছি all right so um that was it aajke amader ekhanei shesh so next uh, next week e amader uh, serverless er session ache ar ota amader um, sixth and final session kintu um arekta jeta ami ekhon uh, apnaderke encourage korbo je apnara obosshoi practice exams uh, try koren ebong um, practice exams try kore dekhen je kon kon area te apnader hoyto aro beshi ektu um, পড়াশোনা করা লাগবে আর সেটা হলে তখন আপনি ইভেন্ট ইঞ্জিন কোডটা দিয়ে ওই সার্ভিস গুলাতে যেতে পারেন সো গো অন টু দা কনসোল পিক দ্যাট সার্ভিস এন্ড প্লে অ্যারাউন্ড উইথ ইট জাস্ট সি দ্য ফিচার্স হোয়াটস দেয়ার হোয়াট ইউ নিড টু ডু এন্ড দ্যাট শুড গিভ ইউ আ বেটার সেন্স অফ ইউ নো হুইচ ওয়ান্স হোয়াট ফাংশনালিটি ইউ ইউ নিড টু ট্রাই আউট সো উইথ দ্যাট দ্যাটস ইট ফ্রম মাই সাইড আলু দা ভাই আপনার ক্লোজিং কমেন্টস Uh, uh no thank you now bhai this was really a uh, good session i i know it's a very interesting topic we discussed and je tamra bolte aslam the server serverless session hocche next session that's the last session the acta jinish chinda korte sala nay bhai you know there's a lot of content right um and amar mone hoy jodi i know it's everybody has their own schedules and you know planning but you know if there is a way after you the data series as in monaco certification near but i think sooner you get the certification it's it will be better just because after the wait call in monaco act march three march three march four march you will start forgetting things right it might it will be harder again to review everything the jay to amra um we're going through this all this content is you know akun after their matha it's quite active so it's better i think if you have the opportunity and you have the time uh, i think it's better to take the exam now and get it out of the way because a certification to when you put that into your linkedin profile or in your resume it bodes really well right because up to one of the key certification from aws you already have it so that would be my suggestions or recommendation when, and we're here to help 
with the kind of guidance like a back on if you are if you have any questions or any clarifications you know feel free to um feel free to reach out to us and practice questions is very important uh practice exams uh make sure that you go through them quite a bit make sure you time it um for me it was uh you know when i was writing practice test uh how do you know you're ready right uh, at, at least Amar criteria when I was getting over 80% or 85% mm -hmm. on this practice test, I knew I was ready for it. Um, so I don't know if key process follow course, but I think that would be because uh, uh, you need 75% to pass, right? And for uh -huh. that reason, yeah. you need to have a little cushion there. The major follow course level 80 to 85 percent up up there up the key course level, right? Yeah, I mean, I I was targeting 80 percent. Jokhon mota moti consistently 80 percent paachi na, jokhon I mean register kore pori kare jeche. Aar ekta jinish amar khetre jeta help kore chilo chhe rathe je actually exam er jono register kora. কারণ অনেক সময় হয় যে আমরা নান কিছু নিয়ে ব্যস্ত থাকি আমাদের হয়তো পড়াশোনার সময় হয় না বা ইয়ে তো যখন মানে আমি ইউজুয়ালি রেজিস্টার করি ধরেন থ্রি টু ফোর উইকস ইন অ্যাডভান্স তো ওরকম যখন হবে তখন আপনার অ্যাটলিস্ট তখন আপনি জানবেন যে আপনার নেক্সট থ্রি ফোর উইকস পড়াশোনা করতে হবে ইউ হ্যাভ টু বি আপ টু স্পিড অ্যান্ড রেডি ফর দি এক্সাম সো দ্যাট অলসো হেল্প জাস্ট পুট আ লিটল মোর প্রেশার widely among the community mm -hmm. within. Into, I know we tried with some of the Slack channels. What else? Uh, what else do you guys recommend, Jamra? Because we want to see more participation at the end. Because uh, the whole idea is to get everybody, a lot of people trained up and certified. The after the judicial no, you know, recommendation that we publicize here or other other venues or or manners. Uh, let us know. Because uh, you know, there's a lot of time. Karnai Bhai, Karaj Bhai, myself, Jaman Bhai, we, and others. We spend a lot of time to organize this, and you know, it's middle of our working days. Uh, so we really want to see this is becoming fruitful for all of you. So any recommendations, suggestions, you know, feel free to give it to us. And I know we're we'll plan more sessions like this, um, and uh, we'd we'll like to take take your input and advice uh, going forward. I think that's it for my side. Thank you again. Yep. Thank you, everyone. Our apna dekho no question thakle obviously slacke amader sathe jogo jogo korte baran. Our. Ki pay ni PowerPoint ta AWS certification ta na? To khane to hoche. S A A certification. Na chami onno yeta to post korte onno onno room ta to post korte. Akhon dekte power kotha. Ha ha. Ashi. Ha. Okay. All right. Um, then all the best. Our, um, let us know if you have any questions. Uh, question just in tackle Slack a message card. Our, uh, thank you very much. Have a very good uh, rest of your evening. I want a question. Ask someone. Like, any question? Got that, sir? Was there a question? question? Um, yes, sir. Uh, 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 sir, I'm an exam and registration quality. मोटामुटी कन्टेंटर दिक्कत सब ही আপনার খুব একটা পার্থক্য পাবেন না আপনি ইউডেমি টা দেখেন বা এ ক্লাউড গ্রুপ টা দেখেন তবে আমি বলবো যে ওইগুলাতে আপনার যদি সাবস্ক্রিপশন থাকে যে যেটাতে সাবস্ক্রিপশন আছে আপনি ওটাই ট্রাই করেন আর আরেকটা যেটা বলবো যে আপনি প্র্যাকটিস এক্সামটা দিয়ে শুরু করলে যেটা সুবিধা হয় যে আপনি বুঝতে পারবেন যে আপনার কোন কোন এরিয়াতে অ্যাকচুয়ালি করা লাগে কারণ ওখানে ধরেন ভিডিও কোর্সগুলো আপনার ষাট সত্তর ঘন্টার ভিডিও আছে তা আপনার হয়তো সবগুলা পড়ার দরকার নেই 
তো আপনার তাহলে আপনি কিছুটা সময় বাঁচাতে পারেন ওইভাবে আর কি যে আপনি যদি एग्जामটা করে দেখেন যে আমার ক্লাউড ওয়াচটা সম্পর্কে একটু বেশি জানতে হবে ক্লাউড ওয়াচের কিছু জিনিস আমি বুঝি নাই তাহলে আপনি ওই ভিডিওটা দেখলেন অথবা আপনি ধরেন ইসি টুর স্পেসিফিক অটো স্কেলিং গ্রুপ সম্পর্কে আপনি ভিডিও দেখতে চান তাহলে ওই ভিডিওটা আপনি তখন ফোকাস করতে পারেন তো আমি বলবো যে হ্যাঁ বলেন স্যার আমি একটা প্র্যাকটিস টেস্ট নিয়েছিলাম আচ্ছা এই আমাজনে কিন্তু সেখানে তো কোনো মানে আমি কোথায় কোথায় ভুল করছি সেগুলো কোনো এক্সপ্লেনেশন গুলো নেই আম ওটা কোথায় ছিল মানে আপনার ওই যে প্র্যাকটিস কোশ্চেন যেগুলো দেয়া ওটা স্যার পিয়ারসনে পিয়ারসনে আচ্ছা আচ্ছা আম ওটা অবশ্য আমি ট্রাই করে নেব কখনো বাট আমি আপনার ওই ওটা তো হ্যাঁ ওটা তো এক্সপ্লেনেশন দেয় না ওটা ইজ জাস্ট লাইক আ প্র্যাকটিস কোশ্চেন সো নাই বাই যেটা বলতেছিল মানে ইদার উইজ ল্যাবস ইউডেমি যেটা আপনার সাবস্ক্রিপশন আছে ওখানে যদি না দ্যাট গিভস ইউ এক্সপ্লেনেশন হুম রাইট সো ওটা এক্সপ্লেনেশন দিবে এবং ইউ ফোকাস অন দ্যাট পিয়ারসন বা ইয়াতে যেটা দেয় ওটাতে অ্যাকচুয়ালি অটোটা এক্সপ্লেনেশন দেয় না সো দ্যাটস ওয়াই ওখানে আপনি খুব একটা বেশি কনসেন্ট্রেট করতে পারেন না কোনটাতে আপনার ল্যাকিং আছে সো যেটা আপনার সাবস্ক্রিপশন আছে জাস্ট ফোকাস অন দ্য প্র্যাকটিস কোশ্চেন অন দোজ এন্ড ওয়ার্ক ব্যাকওয়ার্ডস রাইট যেটা ভুল হবে ওটাতে আপনি রিভিউ করলেন দেন নাইফ ভাই যেটা বলল গো এন্ড ওয়াচ দ্য ভিডিওস অন দোজ সো তখন আপনি দেখবেন যে ইন আ ফার্স্ট টেস্ট when you write your first test মানে অনেকটা demotivating কারণ মনে করেন যে first one you go man you know it's like i got only 50% right on a shama at least that was my experience yeah prothom je test deselam eta onek bhalo korte pari nai but don't get discouraged because karish bhai jeta bollo je apne je gulo bhul korlen you go back and you spend a lot of time on it you review the content you you see the videos and then you go right again your next test and you will see inshallah your marks just gone up again right again then you focus on things that you made mistake again and you keep kind of working backward right and eventually they been je shop kichu uh you getting it and your marks are constantly going up so uh, my say should be don't get discouraged if you uh, first few practice tests just keep working at it uh inshallah everything will work out for you um আর একটা কমেন্ট ছিল যে লেট ইউ নো আই ওয়াজ লুকিং থ্রু দ্য চ্যাট সো ওয়ান অফ পারসন হ্যাড এ ভেরি আই থিং সুলতান ভাই আপনি বলছেন যে লেট বাংলাদেশ সোসাইটি অর বাং বেঙ্গল অর্গানাইজেশন টু স্প্রেড দ্য अनाउंसমেন্ট সো আই ডোন্ট সো হোয়াট ডু ইউ মিন বাই দ্যাট লাইক হোয়াট হোয়াট এক্স্যাক্টলি ইউ হ্যাভ ইন মাইন্ড ফর দ্যাট স্টেটমেন্ট কি আপনি কি চিন্তা করতেছেন যে কোন মানে কিভাবে হারুই হারুই স্প্রেড or you can text you can dm me or ping me later that's okay as well no, yeah, so and... okay. okay. আপনি আমাকে যদি বলেন আমি ওদের সাথে কানেক্ট করে দিতে পারবো মানে অনেক মানুষ পেয়ে যাবে মানুষ তো জব মানে স্কিল অ্যাচিভ করার জন্য জায়গা খুঁজতেছে আপনারা তো গ্রেট একটা জামান ছিল যে so, 
বাংলাদেশ টাইম আমরা তো এখন শুরু করতেছি মনে হয় ফাইভ পি এম বাংলাদেশের টাইম রাইট এটা so that was one of the other suggestions maybe that might help um kintu 8 ta theke 10 ta ki raat hoye jana beshi na ki i don't know that was uh, something to i guess keep in mind okay i think that's it uh, again thank you so much after there uh